One of the most interesting penis enlargement news stories of all time, in my opinion, is the one of the French diamond trader who went in for a penis enhancement surgery and died from a heart attack on the operating table. This 65 year old billionaire who presumably had a lot of really, really, really fancy, super privileged caviar filled life left risked it all for a slightly larger penis and he lost. It is probably safe to assume that some guy with an average sized penis is wearing an expensive watch and drinking ultra fine champagne on his gently used yacht right now. Penis size is without a doubt one of the most talked about concerns amongst men especially on the internet. And I get it, the world has been bombarding us with bigger is better messages since it feels like the dawn of time. From expectations set in porn to the commonly used phrase BDE, big dick energy. There is a lot out there that can make a guy wonder if there's something he should be doing to get a little bit bigger down there. And there is actually something that you can do about it. And if you are too impatient to sit through the rest of the setup of what I'm going to share with you, you can skip straight to this time in this video. Okay, so for those of you who are still with me, I am sex and relationship coach, Caitlin V. And in today's video, I'm talking all about penis enlargement because it turns out that if you are looking to enlarge your manhood, you've got a few options. But before I share what those are, I wanna make it clear that you do not need to enlarge your penis. You do not need a larger penis to please a woman, to be a great lover, to find and enter a loving relationship or for any other reason. I have said it before, I will say it again and again, your penis is literally perfect exactly as it is. I get it that you might not believe me. And if you are someone who struggles with frequent feelings of worry and distress around the size of your penis, it is possible that you have what's called small penis anxiety, which is actually a form of body dysmorphia. Men of all different sizes struggle with small penis anxiety. It actually has nothing to do with the size of your penis. So if the quality of your life is being affected by this concern, this worry, then I highly recommend that you seek the help of a therapist or a coach. But if you're someone who just wants to feel a little more swole in your shorts, you wanna feel like you're carrying around like a thick beef stick in your swim trunks, you just wanna feel a little more confident inside of the bedroom, then keep watching this video because I'm going to tell you the five most common options for penis enlargement. And I will tell you right now that number five is an option that I actually do recommend. It's the only option out of these five that I have seen my clients use to get big and consistent results. All right, without further ado, number one option for penis enlargement is injections. Penis injections are a somewhat common form of penis enlargement. They work in a similar way to lip injections and many men consider them because injections are technically a non-surgical option. It seems simple, right? Inject filler into the penis, watch it expand. What could go wrong? Okay, well, as you probably guessed, a lot. Penis injections come with a wide array of unpleasant and potentially life threatening complications. From pain and swelling to allergic reactions and infections to full on deformity. In other words, if you are already feeling self-conscious about your small penis, imagine now adding a few misshapen lumps to it. I mean, in my opinion, the risk just is not worth the reward. One common procedure uses hyaluronic acid to create additional width and girth. And hyaluronic acid is relatively safe and common. I mean, I use it in my skincare routine just about every day. But each injection of hyaluronic acid can cost between $250 and $750. Most patients start with at least 10 injections and your body will eventually absorb all of the filler. So you have to keep going back and dropping that cash again 
and again and again. And on top of that, the literature, like the scientific evidence on penis injections is pretty sparse and it's commonly believed, and very likely in my opinion, that complications are underreported because not a lot of guys wanna admit that they got the procedure done anyways. There's a lot of shame around it going wrong. It's also important to note that injections cannot add length, they can only add girth to your penis, and again, only temporarily. So at the end of the day, this isn't a medical procedure that I recommend, and if you need convincing against it, you can just do some research before. Brace yourself though for the Google image search results. I warned you. Number two, option for penis enlargement is surgery. Many different surgical options exist for penis enlargement and have been explored over the years. It is definitely the most extreme option on this list, both in intensity and in potential complications. Now there isn't one standard or agreed upon surgery for penis enlargement, but one of the most common ones is called suspensory ligament incision. In this surgery, a surgeon cuts the ligament that suspends and holds your penis to your pubic bone. It literally holds your penis up to the bone, hence the word suspension. This results in a slight visual enlargement of the penis. Ideally, your penis will look bigger as a consequence of slightly more of the penis that's actually inside of the body extending outward without that ligament holding it up and in. But something to consider is that once the penis is no longer suspended by anything, it typically slumps and aims downward after, causing you to lose that nice alert looking boner that you earned with all of those proper Kegel techniques that I taught you. Some other surgical techniques use grafts flaps, even rib cartilage to extend your penis. And when it comes to these surgeries, there are a few really important things to keep in mind. First of all, they are extreme. They're actually sort of terrifying. You can literally watch videos of these being done on the internet. They look pretty graphic and I can only imagine what they feel like. They come with all sorts of health risks, but most importantly, they actually have a very, very low satisfaction rate amongst patients, which is a huge red flag. Like if most people that do this aren't even happy with it, take that lesson and don't follow in their footsteps, assuming that you'll somehow be different. And again, just to note, at least one French billionaire has died. And although he died from a heart attack and not from say, you know, bleeding out from his dick, there are inherent risks with all surgeries. And it is my personal practice to avoid elective procedures as much as possible, especially when there's a very extreme risk reward ratio. All right, number three option for penis enhancement, penile extenders. Penile extenders are a less extreme but more involved option for enlargement. If you haven't heard of these things, they're basically a contraption that you put on your penis and it pulls slowly and mechanically, providing traction in order to stretch the penis and provide some additional length. If that sounds a little medieval to you, that's because it is. There is some research that shows that these are effective, although the added length reported isn't too significant, about two centimeters for men who use them religiously. And I do mean that. These things have a bad rap of being pretty uncomfortable and requiring vigilance. It is going to require a good chunk of time every single day over the course of months in order to see results. In fact, I remember once when I first started my high performance male group, someone said to me, Caitlin, I would literally give my left arm for a bigger penis. And I said, I'm going to call your bluff because if I could just take your left arm and hand you a bigger penis, maybe that's the case. But are you willing to put in weeks, months, years of effort, one hour every single day to warm up your penis, to get it inside of the extension contraption, to massage it and care for it in the way that it requires during the time that you're using that? Like, are you willing to give me one hour a day to have a larger penis? And universally, he was like, no, actually, I'll just make do with what I got. And actually, up until now, this is what I thought was the best option for men who wanted a larger penis. But again, most guys, at least the average guys that I work with as my coaching clients, actually can't come up with the time in order to make that work. The, the actual benefit is not worth the expense of spending an hour a day from work, away from your family, away from the things that you love doing, your hobbies. Like, it's a high cost for low reward. And although the complications and negative side effects of penile extenders aren't as terrifying as those of injections or surgery, they're still worth mentioning. 
Men have been known to experience numbness as well as bruising, which makes sense considering that you're essentially putting your dick between two rods and slowly stretching it out. And the side effects increase for men who get impatient and just cannot wait to get the results, and so they push their body too far too fast, and I have seen it personally. It is a slow, painstaking process. And yes, although some men have reported a change in length, many men sink upwards of hundreds of hours into using these devices only to notice no difference at all. So is it worth a shot? I will let you decide for yourself. This brings me to number four option for penile enhancement, vacuum devices. So Vacuum devices are really where this conversation gets interesting. Commonly known as penis pumps, these devices work by essentially putting the penis into a phallic-shaped suction cup. And as you suction, blood is drawn into the penis, making it look temporarily larger. Traditionally, vacuum pumps have used air to create suction and create this effect. But what I've recently learned about air suction is that it doesn't react uniformly under pressure which simply means that some parts of the penis are gonna get more suction than others, which can result in an uneven result, pain or even loss of elasticity in the skin. But I actually think that the most annoying part about these is that the gains are entirely temporary. After you pump, you have to use a cock ring in order to hold in the extra blood. And you cannot safely keep a cock ring on for more than 20 to 30 minutes, which means that your penis is only larger for 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Plus, you have to leave the woman that you're with, go pump, and then come back and be like, let's get to it, we gotta hurry, I only got 20 minutes. The risks of vacuum air devices are not as scary as the other options that I've talked about before, but if you ask me, there is a better option, which brings me to number five option for penis enhancement, and that is the Bathmate. This is actually the one device that I have been privately recommending to my clients for a while now, and I have been consistently impressed by the results that they're getting. Here's the funny thing about that. I actually had no idea that the Bathmate was a penis enlargement device when I started recommending it. That is the honest to God's truth. I'll tell you why. I actually just felt that compared to an air-based vacuum pump, it was a better recovery tool for my clients who are using low intensity shockwave therapy to improve their erectile blood flow. At first, I was suggesting this as a supplement for getting healthy oxygenated blood down there on their post-treatment recovery days. But my clients started raving about the additional benefit, which you guessed it, was size. The Bathmate works in a similar way to a traditional penis pump, but with one really huge difference. Rather than using air, this device actually uses warm water to create the vacuum that suctions the blood into the penis. And this is cool for a couple different reasons. First of all, water, which works in a gentler and more uniform way under pressure than air, creating a more consistent and reliable result. It also feels a lot better. And in my opinion, if you can get better results with less discomfort, why wouldn't you? I mean, think of it this way. Would you rather put your member in a nice warm bath or send him into outer space without a suit? What's even better though about the bath mate than regular air pumps is that the results last. Yes, you can use a bath mate with a cock ring and I recommend you try it, but the average man experiences gains even to his flaccid penis that stick with him long after the bath mate has been put away. That is what makes this thing so different. That's the difference between using water and air, is that water creates an environment in which your body can actually sustain growth. And of course, before I started recommending this as a penis enlargement tool, I did some additional research. And according to data from Bathmate, 81% of consistent users reported either longer or better erections. Since then, I've been in touch with Bathmate and they have been kind enough to team up with me to sponsor this video, as well as provide some additional insight on their product so you can see if that's something that you wanna check out. Here is the Bathmate Hydro Extreme Ultra Male Kit. And this this comes with all kinds of goodies. It's like a hair trimmer, shower strap, cock rings, vibrator add-ons, which sound so delightful, and even more. Now, my clients have tried every single model of Bathmate that they make, and they have found that their favorite is the Hydro Extreme, which I have 
right here. And this is their favorite because of the ability to fine tune the amount of pressure using this hand pump. And here's another cool thing. It takes just minutes to use the bath mate and you can easily incorporate it into your shower routine. The most important thing to consider when ordering yours is that size does matter. So please make sure to select the right size bath mate for your penis using the guide on their website. It's super easy. Oh, and it is worth mentioning that the bath mate works on both length and girth, unlike the other four options that I mentioned. After doing the research, this is the only penis enlargement product that I am recommending to my clients as well as the men in my high performance male membership. I have seen the men in my program consistently report feeling better, being bigger, and having more confidence after using the bath mate. And honestly, to me, that is priceless. Combined with the fact that it's easy to use and the potential side effects are minimal, this is a clear winner in my book. Plus, unlike the other options, the people at Bathmate literally guarantee that you'll see results within 60 days or you can return your device for a refund and they discreetly ship all over the world. I encourage you to do your own research. So I've included the link to their website in the description as well as the link to my membership. And if you are a longtime subscriber to this channel, first of all, thank you, I love you. And second, you know that I don't promote anyone's product unless I am willing to put my full 100% faith in it and give it the Caitlin V stamp of approval. That's because I feel that I stake my reputation on the products that I share with you and the Bathmate is no different. I wouldn't be here talking about it if I didn't believe that it can get you amazing results because I've literally seen it myself. When it comes to penis enlargement, it is vital that you understand your options, do your homework, fully comprehend the risks and make a decision that works best for you. It is also important to remember that the size of your penis does not make you a better lover. So whatever you've got going down on there is wonderful. And knowing how to please a woman is far more important than adding a couple centimeters or an inch. And as a coach for men, I know the power of feeling confident in yourself from head to toe. And for that alone, I think the Bathmate is worth the investment. And if you wanna check out the Bathmate for yourself, please buy using my link, which is www.bathmate.us slash Caitlin B. I do make an affiliate percentage and it helps a lot to support the production of YouTube videos like this one. And the folks at Bathmate have generously offered a discount just for subscribers of my channel. So make sure that you put this code in when you go to check out. I think the Bathmate alone is worth the investment. So if you would feel more confident with a little bit extra going on down there, I say go for it. And make sure that you use my URL, bathmate.us slash Caitlin V. That will help me and this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you here next week. Bye-bye.